But what I liked about this story is like, maybe as wrestling fans, we know about like WCCW, the storylines, the matches, but like we got to see, you know, the Von Erich's home life. Mm -hmm. And we didn't really know about that. So we got to see how uh, this was really tough on uh, Mike. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like, Mike, you gotta uh, eat and get muscles. Ah. It was nice to see how like Heaven did look out for his brothers and how, you know, just, just the like story of like brotherly love and how yeah, they, that they nice. were like all mm -hmm. really close. I love the camaraderie they have between yeah, the four and how they really loved each other. Even though their parents were like, like some of the coldest parents I've ever seen in a movie. I like when they stuck him out to the gig. <laughs> yeah, that scene was really fun. That was probably the most like uplifting scene in like the whole, the I most did... fun regular scene in the whole movie. I followed this story, but I didn't even know Mike had a band. Oh yeah, Fr um, Chris was rough. Man. Terrible, terrible. Um, he, he, but, didn't, yeah. he didn't support Mike's rock band. It wasn't cool, but no. then I like when they stuck him out to the gig. <laughs> yeah, that scene was really fun. That was probably the most like uplifting scene in like the whole, the I most did... fun regular scene in the whole movie, yeah. Like I, I followed this story, but I didn't even know Mike had a band. Yeah. No, Oh yeah, no. I, I had no idea Mike mm -hmm. was a musician. Yeah. I, didn't know. I like the music in the movie. It was very, yeah, well, it was very Rob Zombie-ish with the seventies, like eighties music. We got some blue oyster calls. And it was really cool to see my favorite like wrestlers of the 80 portrayed by other actors. Yeah, like, like younger versions of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we also got to see like the backstage stuff. Yeah.